Hello guys, welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you that how I made a custom logo animation of Rizat graphics. After watching this video you will learn some basic techniques in Adobe After Effects. You can animate your logo own by following these techniques. So, I recommend you to watch the video till the end, it will be easier for you to better understand. Let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Go to Composition and select a new composition. Change the composition name. Set the resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Set 30 frames per second. 10 seconds of duration and set the white color and press OK. Now, I am going to import my logo. My logo is imported. Drag and drop the logo to the layers section. Reduce the logo size. Add some guidelines. Change the logo color by applying the fill effect. Reduce the logo opacity and lock the layer. Create a square. Set the fill color to none. And stroke to something like this. Align the box layer to the center. Set the scale to 0% at the beginning. And after few seconds set it to 100%. Let's check this. Perfect. Set the box position like this. Add a bouncing effect from Ucromedia.com, download link is in the description. Go to settings and enable position and scale. Again check this. Awesome. Let's type the R. Now, duplicate the text layer and change the R to T.
Right click the text layer and go transform and select flip horizontal. Let's add some motion to the R and T text layers. Move the layers where the box animation is completed. Select the T text layer and hit P in keyboard to open position. Set the start and end position something like this. Now, set the R position something like this. Enable the motion blur. Let's make a smooth animation. Just right click the keyframe. Then go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. The shortcut key is F9. Go to graph editor and set the graph like this. Perfect. It's time to make a mask layers for T and R text. Create a square with any fill color. Set the stroke to none. Now, duplicate the shape layer and drag above the R layer. And rename it to R mask. Select the R text layer. Go to track mat and select alpha mat. Select the T text layer. Go to track mat and select alpha mat like this. Lock all layers. Create a new text layer for Azat. Set its position. Enable the motion blur. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Let's create a shape layer to mask the text. Select the rectangle tool and make the rectangle above the Rizat text. Rename it to Rizat Mask. Select the Rizat text and go to Track Mat, choose the Alpha Mat. Let's preview this. Amazing. Now, slightly increase the timing by dragging the keyframe like this.
type the final text. Add the slow fade on effect. Finally the Rizat graphics animation is ready. Let's make a reverse animations. Follow these steps. Press enter choose end work area. Right click and select trim comp to the work area. Select all frames. Right click and choose pre-compose. Add a name and check the move all attributes and press OK. It will move all our frames to a new composition. Let's preview it. Perfect. Now, go to the projects tab. Right click on the main composition and go to settings. Increase the duration to 15 seconds. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Right click the duplicated layer. Go to time and select time reverse layer. It will make our animation reverse. Now, trim the layer from where our animation is being reversed. Drag the layer to the right side like this. Perfect. Finally, our animations is completed. I hope you've learnt a lot from this tutorial. Please hit the like button, comment for any suggestion and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Good luck and I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics.